Welcome to the Paradise Island of Mauritius for the sixth edition of a new refreshing Tropica Island of Treasure. Six lucky contestants are jetting in to compete against each other for one million rand and to enjoy the Tropica smooth life that the island has to offer. Mauritius, what's up? I need this yeah, after that flight. This hotel is amazing. <laughs> this hotel is amazing. All diamond feels about is more drink. To win the one million rand grand prize is not going to be an easy feat for the six contestants. As to play this game, we have to dig deep socially, physically, and emotionally. Okay, so this is how you're playing the game. The contestants are competing for puzzle pieces. The puzzle pieces make up a map of Mauritius. The more puzzle pieces they have, the more accurate the map will be. One puzzle piece has the X that marks the location of the treasure chest and the one million rand. Let's meet the six contestants. Moha was a 21-year-old varsity student from Johannesburg. Athiston is a 24-year-old former competitive swimmer. Oratile is a 23-year-old beauty from Math Town. Natasia is a 24-year-old aspiring model and former member of the SANDF from Tuane. Tando is a 22-year-old chilled out student from Johannesburg. And Diamond is a 22-year-old aspiring singer from Jersey. It is game on in the new season of Tropica Island of Treasure, enjoying the smooth life from the beautiful island of Mauritius. Beautiful people. Hi, Hi girl. girl. Welcome to the unforgettable island of Mauritius. Tropica Island of Treasure has been flipped into a new and exciting format. And this is how it works. You are all going to be playing for puzzle pieces. And these puzzle pieces make up a map of Mauritius. And somewhere on this map is the mark X. That is where the location of the one million Rand treasure is. The last place contestant will be eliminated from the competition. They will no longer be competing for the one million rand. They will, however, be required to hand over their puzzle pieces to the person they feel is most deserving. First place wins eight puzzle pieces. Second place wins four puzzle pieces. Third place wins three. Fourth place wins two puzzle pieces. Fifth place only gets one puzzle piece. And even though last place has been eliminated, they will receive eight puzzle pieces. And here is the Tropica Island twist. The last place contestant is then fair game to be schmoozed by the contestant who are still in the running for their eight puzzle pieces and all other puzzle pieces they might have accumulated during the game. So, if you want to win this one million rand, you must play nicely. So I'm sure you're all very eager to find out about your first elimination challenge. Good. Please come closer. you start on the beach. You are each given a large bunch of keys according to your ranking from the previous puzzle building challenge. Once you have unlocked the padlocks, the metal detector will be released. On the beach, you will search for metal boxes that contain keys to the sea cards and a bottle of Tropica. Leave on the sea cards to collect your snorkel and mask, then turn and head to Crystal Rock. Once you arrive at the rock, use your mask and snorkel to dive down and look for a combination that must be memorized. A bottle of Tropica must also be collected from the seabed. Leave the rock and head back to shore. 
On return, put your Tropica bottle beside the trunk, use the combination to release the chain and find the flag that is locked on the inside. Raise the flag and win the challenge. Last place contestant will be eliminated. Now, let's get this elimination challenge started. But before we do that, remember that little puzzle we did back home? The contestants had their own winner weekends where after much of the smooth life, they had to complete a puzzle. The contestant with the best time wins an advantage at the first elimination challenge. This is when it's going to benefit you. And the person who finished in the quickest time was... Mohao. Followed by Diamond. Tando. In fourth place, we have a Thiesten. In fifth, Natasia. And last, Oratile. Isan. So, Mohao, being in first place, you have a clear advantage in this challenge. And Oratile, babe. Unfortunately, you're going to have to work very hard for this one. This is your first elimination challenge. Remember, you have one in six chances of winning one million rand. Ready? Go! I have a clear advantage because I get my head start. I've got one lock with six keys, which should be easy for me. By sheer luck, my first key actually opens my lock. So I unlock my metal detector and then I'm onto the beach looking for the metal box. Oh, Mahal's already done. Ratile, who has six keys and six locks to unlock, and I'm thinking she might actually be there a while. And I actually find it really quickly. I take the key for the sea cards and then I'm off to the sea cards. The challenge starts and I'm battling to unlock my, my locks. I know mahao has got it. Then I don't hear anyone else's locks opening, so I know I'm, I'm in this, I'm in this. So I rip off the chain, I take my, my metal detector, I start searching. My snorkeling gear are floating on a buoy about 300 meters away. Tando finally has unlocked at the same time as Natasia. So I find my box, take my keys out, open the Tropica, have a sip, and I'm out of there. And as soon as I get there, I take my snorkeling gear, and then I have to race all the way to Crystal Rock. It's a triangular route from the beach to the buoys to Crystal Rock and all the way back to the beach. I get into my boat, start speeding away. I get my scuba, scuba equipment at the Orange Station. From there, I can see Mahao is already a step ahead. Diamond is on her sea cards and in hot pursuit of Tandor. I get to Crystal Rock and I forget to switch off my sea cards and I'm there in the water and I'm slowly watching it float away and like my head is all over the place now. As soon as I get there, I see my house struggling to get his boat attached to the line. And I know uh, I'm, in, I'm in with the shot. Athiest then chooses not to help me, so I'm swimming after my sea card. I get back on and I'm floating back to Crystal Rock to try to complete the challenge. Diamond bumps into third place by passing Tando, who has some misfortune on his way to Crystal Rock. On my way to the other phase of the challenge, I lose my goggles. I get there and I am stuck. I see the red tile, I go down and I can't find a Tropica. So I figured, okay, let me just, I've got the combination, let me head back in. Atheiston leaves Crystal Rock first and heads back to the beach. As I get in the water, Atheiston is going out. He's leaving. Mohao and Diamond are stuck. I'm panicking about my goggles, looking everywhere, until I decided to jump into the water. Atheiston, in first place. <laughs> Yes, you are in first place. Here are your puzzle Thank pieces. Well done. Thank you. How are you feeling? Ooh, 
extremely tired. <laughs> but Attila is still struggling. I can't find this. My goodness, can I just get this thing and get it over with? And now everybody's disappeared, I'm all alone. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking I should give up now, give up now. This is harder than it seems. I'm at a point dream. I want to go on, I want to give up. I don't want to cry, I don't want to seem weak. Where's your tropical bottle, babe? I had everything and my belt just unbuckled and I took in too much water. I give up. Baby, listen, okay? It's a million rand. I know, bro. You I think I don't know up. that. I know that you know. <sighs> Maybe you need to just catch your breath quickly. Slow your heart rate down. I don't have goggles. Where are your goggles? He's got the goggles. I don't have the goggles. So we had to come with a partnership. Okay, well, how? I'll get you a Tropica, you tell me the code. And I just had to put my trust in Mohau. After spending so much time in the water, I think striking a deal with Tando was the best way to go because at the time, it was easier to do half a job to get either the bottle or the code than both of us having to get both of them. I put my trust in Mohau. At first, I was a bit wary, afraid of what if he tells me the wrong code. So I get him a Tropica, he gives me the code and we go off to shore. I get to the shore, I open the box, Tando, I flag my name, Tando, made it! Pearl says I made it at second place. Here are your four puzzle pieces. I'm like, second place. Diamond is here, Orantil is here, and I'm second place. I was shocked. As it stands, Afistin is in first place, I'm in second place, Mohau is in second, in third place. This is a mental thing, it's, it's crazy. I actually think that I could go further and A4 away. I started panicking, I started <laughs> screaming out for help because I was in pain. And it was so frustrating because I know I can do it. And my leg was just still cramping. No matter what I was doing, it was still sore. It was painful. It was horrific. Diamond is coming back and I'm still there with only a coat to remember, but no Tropica bottle to bring up. I think you left your Tropica bottle in the water and it stayed behind. The biggest twist of the game was when Athiston was told to go back. Athiston did not return with his Tropica bottle. Mohau and myself returned with the bottle. I rush back out frantically. I see the girls still, still trying to find the combinations and I know I've still got a chance. At this point, I know I'm not getting eliminated. Jump in the water, grab a Tropica, and I'm out of there. Get back to shore, drop my Tropica on the counter, and I'm in. Despite having the code, Oradile and Natasha were exhausted from trying to dive for their Tropica bottles. There's a, a, what's this, a pineapple Tropica. So we're in the water and we're talking. I find the number, I look at the number, and then she gets the bottles. Because she knew exactly where they were and she could dive in deeper than we could. I look at the number, I get the number, she gets the bottle, I tell her I found the number. And she's, she's, she's like, if not guys, this is a game, I'm gonna leave y'all. Okay guys, this is a competition, I can't do this anymore, and she leaves. Wow, okay, this is a competition. I so played those girls, I feel terrible. Oratila and Natasha floated on those sea carts at Crystal Rock for over an hour. Diamond left us. Aratil and I decided that we were going to call it quits and stand up for elimination. Okay, so now that we're all back safely on land, we can unpack what happened today. At Easton, you arrived here first. You were followed by Tando, and then Mohao came after you. However, you did forget your Tropica bottle. You went back to go and get it, which was great, but now what this means is that Tando takes first position, Mohao takes second position, and you will now be third. Diamond, you came in fourth. Okay, ladies, 
Because unfortunately you gave up, you've left your fate to your four fellow contestants who are still in the race. One of you will get eliminated. The person who does get eliminated will get these eight puzzle pieces. All right then guys, so after all that action that we had today, it is time for us to relax. We're going to have a smooth session on a catamaran. Let's go. So we're going to the catamaran and I think I'm gonna vote Nastasia out. I don't think she's ready for Tropica. I know alliances have been formed, or Atila has an alliance with Mahal. If she goes out, Mahal's got those, those puzzle pieces. So I need to make sure that she doesn't go out. The smooth session is an opportunity for Oratile and Natasia to schmooze the other contestants and stay in the game. I vote you in, basically. And then tomorrow you vote me out. How do I know that won't happen? There's no guarantee. Right? If I get this thing, we can pull this whole party and try to form an alliance together. Because they are strong. They're quite strong. Oratile, she also wants it as much as I do. But I feel that I need it more. And how do you feel about the girls having given up? Uh, I feel like in a race for one million rand, no matter how tough it is, you never give up. And I think it's that much harder seeing as Diamond gave up, but Diamond kept going back. Diamond had that thing in her that she does not want to get out the race. I'm finding it hard to believe that I can trust you. You've got such a deceiving smile. <laughs> Personally, literally trust the least that's Diamond. I don't have trust for her at all. Right now, I trust Mahal most because he told me that um, seeing Nastasia break down, he didn't like that. So he, he put it like, um, I'll be, if I vote her out, I'll be putting her out of her misery. Do you trust Diamond? No. I helped her. I literally helped her dad down. So he was like, okay, you get the two bottles, I get the cool, you get out of here. After she got the bottle, he was like, guys, this is a competition, I'm leaving y'all, and then he left. Oh, did she say that? Mm -hmm. Like, guys, there's a competition I'm leaving. Oh, that was so deep, because when she came back onto the show, she was like, oh no, I used those two girls and now I'm done. Mundo, who did not perform to what they tasked said they should perform, should go out. Which means then both of them should leave. Both of them should not <laughs> leave, eh? Both of them should leave. But you have to choose one, but so you how are you choosing? Because I'm Kitaganja. I'm Kitaganja, Choosing the best strategy, the person who's going to be the best advantage for for me. If just one more, you know, one more day or, or whatsoever, so I can just be seen and somebody can support me at least, because I'm not sure that... So the longer you're on the show, the better your exposure. Exposure. Family's gonna think if you if you forced to to retire early. Well, it's very important to my son uh, because I'm I'm doing this for for us for a better life. I lost my parents when I was very young, and um, that has been affecting me throughout the whole time because. When they were alive, I had it all. But now, I don't have it all. Natasha told me this <laughs> Of course, she told me about the baby, the family. She's the breadwinner. Does, that, does she say that? No, she just told me the situation, which I can't tell you about the situation. Oh, OK. Yeah. You're in a predicament where whatever you do is going to hurt someone. Has your decision changed of who is staying or leaving before and after these conversations? Or have you stuck Honestly, to your guns? Honestly, I've kind of stuck to my guns. This, is, this has been a negotiation process. It's like a, a, a company merger going on here. So uh, everyone wants to get the best out of this opportunity.
The smooth ceremony will decide who will be eliminated from the game. It's voting time. Who are you choosing to eliminate? Nastasia. Natasia. Yeah. Maha? Uh, Oratile. Oratile. Atheiston? Natasia. Diamond? Oratile. Oratile. So we are, in fact, in a deadlock. I need to let you know about something. Because Tando won the challenge, he will be exempt from the re-vote to decide who is eliminated. We will now vote once again, OK? Mahal, I'll start with you. Natasia or Oratile? Natasia. Natasia. Atheiston? Oratile. Oratile. Diamond? Oratile. Oratile. It's two Oratile and one Natasia. I'm going to now call the girls in. This is where the last place contestant, Oradile, decides who she is going to give her puzzle pieces to the person she deems worthy. Oradile, so now you get to take your eight puzzle pieces. You get to help somebody else achieve their dream of winning one million rand. How did you come to the decision? I chose a person I trust. Who would you like to hand over your puzzle pieces to? happy and sad at the same time. Um, I'm glad that she gave me the pieces, but I'm sad to see her go. Let's do a recap. Tando has 16 pieces of the puzzle. Mohal has four pieces of the puzzle. Atheiston has three. Diamond has two. Natasia has none. To the remaining contestants, you all now have a one in five chance of winning one million rand in the new season of Tropica Island of Treasure. Good luck. Next time on Tropica Island of Treasure in the beautiful island of Mauritius, we go under the sea. How long would you dig for a million bucks? And from one sandy beach Thank to another. You. Stop lying. You're such a f liar. Did you not see, dude? No. This is a game, babe. Relax yourself. Mm -hmm.